All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. You can see I have scissors and I have a box. Um, so usually, and it is the case this time, I have an unboxing for you. And um, I want to go ahead and do this for you today um, because I'm actually planning to get a significant amount of fishing in tomorrow uh, and on Monday. I took Monday off uh, as a holiday. Um, hopefully it won't come back to bite me because I'm real busy at work. But um, got to get some fishing videos up for you guys. So um, I am listening to your requests for more fishing videos. Um, I do thank you for watching the cooking videos and all that stuff that I've been putting up. And um, the um, fishermen have issues and all that good stuff. And thank you for your comments on those. Really appreciate that. All right, so to the unboxing. Let's see what we got. All right, so I actually will be doing another unboxing here as well in the next few days or so. And I'll just leave it at saying thanks to you and thanks to YouTube for that one. All right, so we have the perimeter cut. All right, box open. No surprise, you actually have brown paper bag type material in here. So we're just going to get that out of the way. Dropping that to the back. All right, and then you can see I actually got it at Dick's Sporting Goods. It says your passion is our top priority. Not bad. You can see on the top of the box, we have a pen. All right. We have a pen. All right. And here we can see, looking at the side of the box, it is a pen battle two. And uh, this is a BT II 4000. All right. So, um, you know, I do use quite a few bait casters over here on OD5 fishing, but um, I also like spinners, you know. So, I, you know, I haven't bought a spinner in some time. I know my buddy Chad has. Uh, a battle and I've seen him use it quite a bit and um, you know I fish the intercoastal quite a bit you know so I like to get a lot of good casting in there and it's a lot of times when it's uh, quite windy um, you know having a good old spinner is the way to go because sometimes your bait casters into that wind can be tricky alright so let's get our baby open here alright so that's a shot in the box there for you alright alright so and you can see we got the, the 4,000, like I was saying. All right, so we can see actually the handle here can be on either side. All right, I am right-handed, so you can see it actually came, assuming that I was left-handed, I believe, because the cap is actually over here on the on this side, so which is the right side. The tidy righty lefty loosey so I'm just screwing that off. All right, falls right into my hand. I'm going to screw that on to the other side here. All right, you should be getting a good view of that. And we're just going to take our handle here and just wind it up on there like that we'll get some line on this baby here you'll see me fishing with this very likely uh, in videos that I'll have coming up in the next couple of days alright so she's ready to go there and I like that it's smaller you know because I do actually have one uh, reel that's in my repertoire that I've been using um, it was pretty much a good deal but not good quality. Um, I don't. I think. Well, I shot a video on it, but I don't think I ever put it up. Um, so it was a little inexpensive, and you know, kind of you get what you pay for. Um, again, I do shop at Dick's quite a bit, as you can see coming out of this box. Um, I did actually have a coupon basically to get twenty dollars off of a hundred dollar purchase, and um, I get those quite often because again, I shop at Dick's quite a bit. You know, with my kids, you know, getting back to school supplies, shoes, occasional clothing. You know, so uh, that might be a good reward for you to start taking advantage of if you fish like I do. And, um, you know, so basically that's what happened with this one. I got $20 off of 100 I think this one was uh, listed as $109. Um, so by the time I got the uh, coupon, um, I paid 96 altogether. All right, you know, that's with tax. You know, so that's uh, not a bad deal. I'll take that. All right, and I want you to note, too, on the spool here, as I'm getting a little bit closer with that, you can actually see there's a black ring around the spool. And um, it actually is kind of rubbery, which is pretty cool. It's actually tacked. You know, that's going to allow for you to tie your line on there and keep the spool of line from spinning. Of line was spinning, and I thought the drag was broken, but actually it turned out that the line was truly spinning on the rod. So you can see here, you know, with my, you can see here with my thumb placement, 
that little black band there actually again is tacked and um, it's going to allow you to tie your line right on that and I imagine that's going to really keep it from spinning so that's a nice little upgrade that my previous pin reel definitely does not have so definitely looking forward to fishing with this one alright just to give you some of the specs on this one this one is a um, it has a gear ratio of 6 2 by 1 um, as far as uh, mono and as far as the amount of line I could do I could do 8 pounds uh, test 270 yards I could do 10 pound test 220 or I could do 12 pound test at 165 yards and then there's the braid you know with braid I could do 15 360 of that um, I could do 20 with uh, 260 of that or I could do 30 uh, with um, 185 and I'll probably do the 30 with the 185 because um, like I said fishing the intercoastal and um, you know thinking I'm going to be doing a little um, little um, fishing as well in the surf and hopefully getting into some bigger fish but I fish around on quite a bit of structure you know even when I go down to like Fort Fisher and I'm um, even fishing up at the jetty um, in Riceville Beach uh, sometimes again some structure there as well so I like to have a little bit of a heavier line so I'll be going with that alright our weight of the reel here is real nice and light um, we're looking at 12.8 ounces so that's going to be really easy to fish with for long periods of time um, it actually also has a full metal body um, as well and um, so so this is this is going to be really good I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this one into my repertoire again I do have another pen the one that you've seen me using quite a bit um, that one is every bit as old as the the old um, Abu Garcia 6500 C3 that I recently retired um, that pen is every bit as old as that and all I had to ever do was replace the cap on it and um, it has fished very well and I'm um, still using it to this day and um, a little little sentimental value on that one as well the rod I've been using on that one is actually one that my mom gave to me and my mom's still a pretty avid fisher as well um, although she's into couponing now so doesn't fish as much but uh, anywho so this is the review